Good morning, boys and girls. We are going to read some of our next chapter of Junie B. Jones' Toothless Wonder. Our second chapter is called Uncle Lou. If you remember at the end of our last chapter, Junie B. got a star for um, her tooth. She needed a prize because she was the first one in her class to have a front wiggly tooth. And there is a little picture right there to go with this one. The speaker came on at 10 o'clock. Her name was Miss Chris. Miss Chris told us all about recycling. Also, she showed us a movie. It was called Dan, Dan the Soda Man. It was very thrilling, I tell you. Cause Dan, Dan the Soda Man can, lived in a soda machine at a gas station. Then one day, a lady bought him to drink. Only too bad for Dan, Dan. Cause after the lady drank his soda, she threw him right out her car window. And Dan, Dan got his can all dented. But hooray, hooray, a cop saw the lady littering and he gave her a big fat ticket. Then a can man took Dan, Dan to the recycling center and the man got cash money. Plus Dan, Dan got fixed up all good and new. And bingo, he turned into Dan. Dan the orange juice can. It was a miracle, I tell you. Room one clapped and clapped at that happy ending. Then Miss Chris passed around stickers of Dan. Dan the soda can for us to stick to our shirts. And the sticker said, recycling makes sense. Ha, get it? Sense sounds like sense, like smelling. That is a good one, I think. After that, all of us went to lunch and recess. We were still in happy moods. On the playground, Jose and Lenny and Shirley asked to see my loose tooth. Then pretty soon, the other children wanted to see it too. And so finally, I stood them all in a row and I let them look real close. After they looked, I walked down the row and I showed them how far I could bend it. Her clapped and clapped. Jose and Lenny whistled. Sheldon tried to pick me up. That is not a normal reaction, I think. You're going to look cool when it finally comes out, Junie B, said Herb. See, said Jose, you're going to look really cool. Like a hockey player, I bet. Yeah, said Lenny. Hockey players almost never have any teeth. Neither do kickboxers, said Shirley. Maybe you'll look like a kickboxer, Junie B. Just then, Sheldon did a sigh. I just hope you don't look like my toothless Uncle Lou. He said, my toothless Uncle Lou never brushed or flossed. And then all his teeth fell out. I made a sick face. Sheldon shrugged. Well... It's not like he's totally toothless, he said. He still has one bottom tooth left. It's kind of yellow, but it still can bite an apple. After that, Sheldon walked away. I watched him. Then I sat down in the grass, and I tried not to think of toothless Uncle Lou. After school, me and Herb rode the bus home together. We sit with each other every single day only not Saturdays and Sundays or weekends. Me and her talk about lots of stuff on the bus. Only today, I didn't feel like talking hardly because I was still upset about looking like uncle you know who. I slumped down in my seat very glum. What if I look like a weirdo, I said. Huh, her? What if I look like toothless uncle Lou? Herbert pouted, patted me. Don't worry, you won't. Probably. I kept on worrying. Yeah, only today is Friday, Herb, I said. And so Monday, my tooth will already be out, I bet. And so what if I come to school looking like toothless Uncle Lou? 
And then all of room one starts making fun of me. And then they form a circle around me and they laugh and skip and throw fruit. Then all of a sudden I did a gasp. <gasps> Cause an even worser problem popped into my head. I grabbed Herbert's shirt. Oh no, Herb, oh no, I said. What if I don't even look like myself on Monday? Not even a tiny bit, I mean. And then I get on this bus and you don't even recognize me. And so you pass right by my seat. And then I have to sit by myself all alone and toothless. Herb looked down at his shirt. He said to please take my hands off of him. He smoothed himself out. Maybe you should look on the bright side, Junie B, he said. Even if all of that bad stuff happens, which it won't, probably, you'll still end up with a bunch of money from the Tooth Fairy, right? And that's good, isn't it? As soon as he said that, chill bumps came on my skin and my stomach got flutterflies in it. I quick looked out the window so Herb couldn't see my face. Because guess what? A tooth fairy is a whole other can of worms. That's the end of chapter two. Chapter three is called, Ow! Hmm, how would that happen? And there were no pictures besides the one that I showed you. So remember, making all the pictures in your brain. <laughs>